Hey YouTube, it's iPod Touch for Life 165 here. And uh, today I wanted to show you um, a different way using SSH to edit your system strings. Um, as you could just see, it said uh, slide to unlock. And um, when I hold down my power button, it also says um, slide to power off. And um, in this video, I'll be showing you how to change both of them. But when you use this way, you get like every single system string there is. Um, so first you want to go into IC or Cydia, and I'll be using IC. And we're going to go into search, and in the search bar we're going to type in E-R-I-C-A, Erica, and we're going to press the space bar and we're going to type in U, and you'll get Erica Utilities. And you're going to install that, Erica Utilities. And you're good um, for your iPod part. Now you're going to go enable SSH. Uh, yep. And we're going to open up WinSCP. I'm just going to put the camera down for a second. Alright. Um, we're going to hit the back button three times. One, two, three. And we're going to go into system. Then we're going to go into library. And we're going to go into core services and then the springboard.app and whichever language you speak I'm going to do English and we're gonna highlight springboard.strings just highlight it so it's highlighted but not like double clicked on and we're gonna go into commands and we're gonna click open terminal and we're gonna click OK And it'll be connecting. And up here where it says enter command, you're going to want to copy and paste what I put in the description. So I'm going to copy and paste it because I don't have it memorized either. And that's what it is. And then I'm going to click execute. Oops, execute. And once the second line of strings um, comes up, we can um, I can press close. And then I'm going to double click on it. And I'll be brought to this. Now what I want to do is make sure my cursor is at the very beginning. And I'm going to click the first set of binoculars. Not the second, not the third, the first. Um, and we have to make sure that the cursor is at the very beginning because it searches for everything after the cursor. And it'll bring me to this little search box right there. And we're going to search for slide to unlock. Right there. Slide to unlock. And I'm going to press enter. And it'll find where it says slide to unlock. So now I can um, close out of this. And since it's, since it's already highlighted, I can start typing. I'll type in... Um, subscribe like I did last time or something subscribe there I typed in subscribe and now I'm gonna put my um, I'm gonna scroll back up put my cursor at the very beginning right there and I'm gonna click on the first pair of binoculars and I'm going to type in slide to power off. I'm going to click enter. And I'm going to close out of this little search. And it will be right here. So I'm going to start typing because it's already highlighted. I'm going to type uh see ya 
right there, see ya. And I'm going to click save, because that's it. We're done. Um, uh, sorry, guys. Uh, I'm going to click save right in the top, the top left. I'm going to click save. And we're done. I'm going to close out of that. Close out of that. And I'm going to go onto my iPod. Um, click disable. And I'm going to respring it. Now note your springboard may crash, so it may say springboard has just crashed. We're sorry for the inconvenience. So it may say that to me. Restarting springboard. Uh, all right. And as you can see, it says subscribe. And when I hold down the power button for four seconds, one, two, three, four, it now says see ya. All right, guys, this is method number two in case customize didn't work for you. Um, this is iPod Touch for Life, 165 here, and I'll see you guys later.